everyone. Today we're going to be doing number four. So this question says, in the system of equations, 3x plus y equals 1, and x minus 3y equals 17, x equals what? So if you notice here, we have two equations with two unknowns. So there are two different ways to solve this problem. The first way is called substitution, and that's where you solve for one of the variables and you plug back in to the other equation. So, for example, in the second equation, we can solve for x, and we can say that x equals 17 plus 3y. Now, all we have to do is simply plug this into the first equation. So the first equation is 3x plus y equals 1. Now plugging that in, we'll get 3 times 17 plus 3y plus y equals 1. Now multiplying this out, we're going to get 17 times 3, 51. So we're going to get 51 plus 9y plus y equals 1. Combining like terms, we'll get 51 plus 10y equals 1. Then we'll get 10y equals negative 50. I just subtracted 51 from both sides. And then we will get y is equal to negative 5. So now, but the question asks for what x is. So now what we have to do is we have to plug in this value of y into one of the equations to solve for x. So let's go ahead and plug it into this equation. So we'll get 3x minus 5 equals 1. And again, all I did was just plug in the value of y equals negative 5 for y. So now we'll get 3x is equal to 6, and we'll find that x is equal to 2. And again, this way is called substitution. Okay, so the second way we can do this is called elimination. So in this case, we want to eliminate one of the variables right from the beginning. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we have 3x plus y equals 1, and then we have x minus 3y equals 17. So the goal of this is to add up these equations and have one of the variables cancel out. So what I mean by that is I can automatically recognize that these could cancel if this was a 3y. And that's because 3y minus 3y is 0, and that will eliminate our y variable. So what I want to do is I want to multiply the first equation by 3, and I'm going to leave the second equation the same. So multiplying every term by 3, I'm going to get 9x plus 3y equals 3. And then for my second equation, I have x minus 3y equals 17. And now I'm going to add these two equations together. So right here we have 9x plus x, which gives us 10x. And then we have 3y minus 3y, which is just 0. And that was exactly our goal. That's what we wanted to do, because these are just going to cancel out. So we eliminated the y variable. Now we're going to add our two numbers, and we are going to get 20. So solving for x, we're going to divide both sides by 10, and we are going to get x equals 2. And that is our final answer. And if you see, um, let me write, this is the method of elimination. So again, if you notice, there are two different ways of solving this problem. Um, whatever is easier for you is perfectly fine to use. Sometimes it kind of depends on the instance, but in both cases we got the same answer, and that's exactly what we wanted. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. I'm a math tutor, and my information is in the description box if you have you know, any video requests or if you'd like to set up tutoring, um, anything like that. All right, thanks again.